Hello, uh, my name is Nick from Sec1 and I'm just going to demonstrate um, an exploit of a vulnerability with the Redmat and Git hosting plugin. Um, so this is a plugin that um, is the, I think this is the original plugin written by this guy. Um, and this plugin for Redmine allows um, Git to be hosted through the Redmine application. So it closely integrates Git surfing with uh, Redmine. Um, and it's often used by people that just want a simple solution for, like a combined solution for hosting Git and managing all of their users and um, access to the code bases and stuff within just Redmine. So um, there's a vulnerability that allows code execution and um, I'll just demonstrate that. So um, this is a this is an example of the uh, of Redmine with the plugin set up and it looks something like this. So if I go to this project page um, I'll see that there's, if I click on this HTTP, I can clone the Git repository um, for this project over HTTP and this is where the vulnerability lies in here. Now if the if the project is public, which in this case this is a public project where anybody can clone it, so you might not be able to commit to it but you can clone it, then you can exploit the vulnerability without authentication, so I'll just demonstrate that. So. What I'm going to do is just use this information for the uh, Metasploit module that I wrote and exploit this to get command execution. So um, I'm going to use this thing. So test project dot git, that's the important part and the host and stuff. So if I go to my um, plugin which I've loaded, if I just put the show option in. So these are the things I've set. So I've set the remote host to um, that of my Redmine server. It's on SSL, so that port. And this is a target URI to set. So it's the actual, when I do git clone and then pass the HTTP URL, um, it's this that I use to clone it. So I'm going to stick that in. And also the virtual host, put that in just in case it's hosted on a Apache virtual host or something. Um, set up my payload. Okay, so I'm just going to, first I'll just check if it's vulnerable. So I'm not using credentials here, so I've got no username and password, so it's an unauthenticated attack. Um, but if the project isn't public, so it's if you have to be logged in to, um, to read or commit to the um, repository, then you can put some credentials in here. Probably a lot of, when people use this, and it's probably used a lot more internally than it is externally, though you might find some outside. But um, when they use it, they probably will have public viewable projects with read on the access, so it should be useful for exploiting those. So, uh, well, I'll just run a check to see if it's vulnerable. So we just inject a delay to check it. Um, yeah, okay, so we seem to be able to cause a delay there, so now if I just run it, right. it's opening a shell. So it takes a little while usually, let's just. Um, Buffer up some commands. Email, share, um, and let's have a look at the IP address of the box. Just wait for a little while. There we go. So I've got command execution on that box. So there's the address um, for Redmine server. There we go. So um, yeah, so there's a vulnerability. So. Um, so this is, an, this is a plugin for Redmine that um, adds functionality to Redmine. Now the thing is about fixing it is that um, there's a lot of output notes on the, um, the blog page on Sec1 that you can look at about fixing it or a workaround. And the problem with this thing is that I think this, I think this person wrote the plugin originally and lots of people have forked it. Um, so there's no one there's no one particular owner of the plugin. So um, probably likely some will get fixed now and some won't do. So it's um, it's difficult other than to inject a delay to see if it's vulnerable or not. Um, yeah. Okay then. Well, thank you very much.